How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Lies of P. So, a while ago during the demo, I put out a video on the weapon assembly system uh, and customization. Um, I figured it's time for an update on that, considering we just got a patch that uh, pretty much balances out uh, using lighter blades and heavy handles and heavy blades and light handles. Um, pretty much making things uh, even and uh, attack speed uh, increase for using heavy handles and light blades. Uh, so kind of balancing things out. Um, and I wanted to show off some uh, some combinations of weapons that I thought were pretty interesting. So if you guys are new to this, and also I want to say uh, thank you for all the support on the, uh, the weapon customization video. That's probably my uh, highest viewed video uh, as of recording this video on my channel, so much appreciation for that. Uh, so if we, if you guys are new to this, uh, when we go to the weapon assembly, uh, basically when you're assembling your weapons, um, the handle is what's going to dictate the scaling, and um, each handle and blade have a, um, a fable art. So you can combine fable arts uh, that stack well together and um, you can change the scaling on weapons and then you can not only do that but also you can use cranks to further uh, increase whatever scaling you'd like. Uh, so just want to show off some combinations here. So the first one I wanted to show off is this one which is the the Puppet Axe and the Bramble uh, Curve Sword Handle. So we have a some nice sweeping R1s um, for the R2. Nice jump forward, cover some distance. Um, and then for the uh, the Fable Art, just have the Killer Attack with the um, the Puppet Axe Handle, and then the I love the the Fable Art on the on the handle, which is this. So you can do lots of lots of forward slashes with that. Um, and also, I forgot to mention as well, uh, when you're assembling, if you don't know, when you're assembling handles, uh, blades and handles, you also want to keep in mind, let me just, just show you. Say, that's why I should... You also want to keep in mind, uh, I'm going to assemble another one here while we're talking. Um, let's see. So you also want to keep in mind, you see attack type, it says uh, slash equals and stab. Um, there is no stab attack uh, with this with this weapon, but you do need to keep in mind your movesets and the blades that you're using. Uh, because if uh, you see like slash or stab and a down arrow next to that, uh, depending on which attack you're using in the moveset, you're going to get a 30, 30 to 40% uh, reduction in that uh, that specific strike uh, in the move set. Um, you know, it's not the entire move set that you receive damage reduction on. It's just that specific move, because the, you know, depending on the handle and the the blade that you're using. In other words, if you're, let's say, if you're using the coil Mjolnir head, and then you put that on the military shovel yeah see um, you get a down arrow on the stab because uh, I believe one of the I think it's like the R2 or something uh, in the military uh, shovel moveset has a, uh, a thrust attack so you know with using a hammer on that on that handle with that specific R2 attack you're gonna lose damage um, but Let's see, so we're going to assemble that. So this one is very nice too. So the Master Chef knife obviously has a lot of, uh, in itself just has very short range, but with the Puppet Axe, still has some nice range. Uh, even that first R1, it's kind of a close, you know, kind of a close swing, but still got good range on it with the due to how big the Puppet Axe is. Um, I love that that charged R2. It's pretty nice. 
and that's the just the regular R2. And then, so the blade we already know we just did that, and then the um, the handle Fable Art. Pretty much the same as the um, the bramble that we just used. So let's look at some other ones here. All right, next we have the Master Chef handle and the uh, Mad Donkey weapon, the Bone Trotting Saw Blade. Uh, so that similar move set, but obviously you got a ton of reach now with that um, <laughs> that Mad Donkey weapon and that nice. Charged R2 swings, and then the um, the Fable Art you just saw with the Master Chef handle, and the just forward slams with the the Link Chop uh, Fable Art. It's pretty nice. All right, next uh, we have the Mad Donkey weapon, the Bone Trotting Saw Blade, and the Booster Glaive handle. So nice cross slashes with the booster glaive it is a little bit slower but the charge r2 on the booster glaive is amazing that nice distance closer um so then the fable art for the booster glaive you have the patient slash which you can charge that up some nice damage Alright, next up we have the Spear of Honor Blade and the Blind Man's Double-Sided Spear Handle. Um, technique weapon, obviously. We have uh, Killer Attack and Payback Stab for the Fable Arts, both with uh, just utilizing two Fable Fable Bars. So the Killer Attack and then the Payback Stab. I, you... uh, I thought you could charge that one. I guess not. Now, so I will say some of these uh, some of these blades and whatnot I have not used, so I have not leveled them up. So the damage is going to seem kind of low. Plus, um, my character is still leveled to be a advanced build at this point. So next we have the Carcass Crystal Axe Blade uh, and the Master Chef Knife Handle. Uh, we've already seen the Furious Slash on the Master Chef and the Acidic Explosion on the crystal axe. So that is gonna apply some some good acid damage and then that big smack always does. So that is gonna do, do some good acid damage. Especially those that charged are too. Of course you are gonna lose uh, your advanced scaling on the weapon because we have it on a just a regular handle so be aware of that all right next we have black steel cutter blade and that is on the exploding pickaxe handle again you're going to lose advanced scaling when doing this but it's pretty cool uh, you have storm slash on the blade and then conserve energy to conserve stamina on the exploding pickaxe handle um, so before this would have been pretty slow but Attack speed is pretty, uh, pretty quick now. Big smash with the charge R2. And storm slash. And then conserve energy. Pretty nice combo. Alright, next we have the Master Chef Blade on the exploding pickaxe handle. This is kind of funny looking, but, um... Look at the fa uh, the Fable Arts, we have double conserve energy, um, and the attack speed is pretty, pretty quick. Check this out. And then charge R2, big smash, so literally you can double up on this. Pretty handy. All right, next we have the Tyrant's uh, Tyrant Murders Dagger Blade, Blind Man's Double-Sided Spear Handle. Um, you have Grind for the Blade Fable Art and Payback Stab for the Handle Fable, Fable Art. 
Now, obviously, this uh, <laughs> this is pretty short range, but the crits um, on this are pretty nice. Now, if you guys don't know, um, there are several, uh, like a handful of weapons in the game that have uh, critical uh, critical rate. Uh, you can see there, so it has, uh, you have a 30% chance to do 50% more damage, um, and the grind actually uh, increases that critical hit chance. Um, so you'll know when you get crits when, right there, that was a crit, it's like a bluish flash, yeah, there was another one. So uh, the criticals uh, with the weapons, like the trident and the, crystal, uh, the pistol rock drill blade, um, and a few others. Uh, pretty, pretty nice and handy. Next, we have the Tyrant Murderer's Dagger again uh, on the Spear of Honor handle. Um, have Grind again and then Rush Swing uh, for the Fable Arts. So, gonna have some quick little slashes there with that. Now, that right there is gonna do some crazy critical damage especially when you use the the crit uh, the grind and then the charge R2 and then the look at how many crits I just got there that was insane um, <laughs> so this uh, this would actually be really nutty on a uh, on a technique build and honestly I, uh, for my new game plus run, uh, I think I'm going to go with technique build, um, and I may use this because this thing is insane. Now you pair that with, uh, the amulet that gives you, um, additionally gives you more critical chance. I mean, it's just going to be, it's just going to be insane. All right. So as a alternative, uh, to that, you could use the pistol rock drill blade on the spear of honor. Now attack speed is going to go down um, as well as the attack type you're gonna lose uh, damage on the slash attack um, but if I mean if you're using that crazy R2 like that may not matter um, same fable arts too so demonstrate so you can see the attack speed is much much slower um, you still got that crazy charged R2 to grind and then I mean, still, look at, again, don't pay attention to the damage because I am, I don't have the blade leveled up, but look at the amount of crits that we just got, it's an insane. Alright, next, this one's kind of crazy, the Bramble Curve Sword and the Live Puppet Axe Handle, um, you have Storm Slash and Endure, um, Endure, you, allows you to temporarily withstand an enemy's attack, um, so basically it looks like you're uh, attacking someone with a hockey stick here, which is kind of funny. But, those attacks though. And then the R2. Quick smash. And then... Uh, it's Endure. So definitely an interesting one with the lighter blade and the uh, the heavy handle there. I do like that R1 move set. It's pretty nice. So that is about it. Uh, all the combos that I have experimented with. Um, I mean, there are some honorable mentions like the bram uh, the bramble curved sword handle on the bone cutting saw blade and um, the dancer's handle on the bone cutting saw blade. I used those in my let's play uh, and they were pretty fun. Um, horizontal versus vertical move sets with both of those. But let me know in the comments uh, what you guys have experimented with. I am very interested to know and uh, will be willing to try out some new stuff in uh, my new game, game plus run. So hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you got some good combos out of this video. So stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.